This is Nina. This is also Nina. She's based in Western Australia's Kimberley region and for 12 years she's been perfecting the art of helicopter mustering. It's the best part, yard ups are always fun because you get to, I suppose, test your limits. She's aerial support for stock teams on the ground, herding cattle towards the yards. You get to work with the cattle, um, obviously, very closely. Nina is one of those people you meet in the outback who just gets on with it. She doesn't like to talk about how she's a role model for young women. She hasn't just found a place, but a profession in Australia's agricultural industry. And she's not alone. They've always been around in the rural industry and women now are just having more roles, which is fantastic to see. And here's the thing. The rural industry needs workers and preferably ones who want to set up out here and stay for good. So it's had to make some big changes. Everyone's sort of realising that we're stepping up to roles that only men have done for so long. Gemma Somerset is only 17, but she's already planning a career out here. It's pretty exciting to see it all happening. Like, you know, it's making me realise that there is open doors for me that there may not have been many years ago. There's a saying they like to use out here. It's not all beer and Skittles. It means sometimes life is pretty tough. It's a beautiful place to work, but it's not always as picture perfect as it might seem on Instagram. But it does give those who make the trip two things, an instant community, and a lot of career options. At uni, more than half the Ag Corps students are female. And up in the Kimberley, there might not be that many people, but those who are here stick together, and women are a big part of that. But then we want to bring them back into the yards. Jane Sale manages the Yugawala Pastoral Company with her husband, Hayden. I think it makes a huge difference that pe women know that there is a massive presence up here and they, they won't be on their own, they won't be the only female in a stock camp. She also started a blog called Central Station with her mate Steph. It's a way for people to share their stories about life in the bush. No matter who you are and where you are in the world, it's the fundamental way that humans connect with each other is through story. Steph has studied ag science in Australia and the US. She's been on ranches, photographed rodeos, and spends a lot of her time advocating for the rural industry. Her message is pretty clear. If you think you might want to give this life a try, well, you probably should. You can read all the stories you want, but you've just got to get out there and, and live your own story. You're not trying to beat the boys, you're just doing the best you can be. That's all it is.